we want to evaluate the indefinite integral using the substitution method. I think it'll be helpful if we rewrite cosine cubed 3x as cosine 3x raised to the third sine 3x dx. In this form, I think it's much easier to see that we have a function raised to a power. Therefore, we'll let u equal the inner function of this composite function here. So we'll have u equals cosine 3x. So using this substitution, we would have u to the third here. And now we'll determine differential u. Differential u is going to be equal to the derivative of cosine 3x times dx. And this will require the chain rule. The derivative of cosine 3x is going to be negative sine 3x times the derivative of 3x, so we'll have negative 3 sine 3x dx. Now let's compare this to our integral. Notice the integral only contains sine 3x dx. So what we'll do is take this equation here and divide both sides by negative 3. So we'll have negative 1 third du equals sine 3x dx. And notice in this form it matches the integral perfectly. So now we can replace sine 3x dx with negative 1 third du. So now let's go ahead and rewrite the integral in terms of u. We'll have the integral of, this will be u to the third. And then we can replace sine 3x dx with negative 1 third du. So we'll put the du here and we'll pull out the negative 1 third. And now we'll determine the antiderivative of u to the third with respects to u. So we'll have negative 1 third times u to the fourth divided by 4 plus c. And the last step is to rewrite this in terms of x. So notice we'll have a coefficient of negative 1 twelfth. And then u is cosine 3x plus c. Or if we wanted to, we could write this as negative 1 twelfth cosine to the fourth 3x plus c. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found this helpful.